Joining us again on the Sunrise Morning Show is Tufik Baklini, the president of In Defense of Christians. Tufik, welcome back. Uh, Good morning, Annie, and uh, thanking you for having us again. Absolutely, and I am sorry to say that we are going to once again be highlighting the plight of the people of Lebanon in the wake of that explosion last summer in Beirut that left so many people devastated, and the situation just continues to get worse, doesn't it? Yes, uh, it's getting uh, much worse uh, on uh, the people. Uh, more than 60 percent uh, of uh, the Lebanese under, uh, are under poverty levels. And uh, that area where the explosion happened, it's, uh, as you know, uh, mostly Christian, and uh, they're suffering more than any other areas. So uh, we are trying to get them uh, a lot more support uh, from the U.S. government, uh, USAID, because uh, the situation doesn't look in the near future. Can you tell us what's been happening with Lebanese currency? Yes. The Lebanese lira has, uh, it used to be 15... uh, 100 liras to to a dollar, and now it's all the way up the last few months. It went up to, in fact, yesterday it was 15,000 uh, uh, 15, liras to a dollar. So wow. it's like a devaluation of 1,000 times in less than uh, two years. Mm. What does that mean? I mean, in, in from a practical standpoint... For people who need to buy basic necessities like food and clothing. Yes. In fact, uh, uh, the food, uh, you cannot see food anymore uh, imported uh, on at uh, supermarket shelves. Uh, people, uh, it's uh, the prices uh, skyrocketed um, and um, people are, uh, they cannot afford to buy uh, even the, um, you know, the necessary food uh, to be able to uh, survive. But the first time ever since uh, 100 years ago, when the Ottoman occupied Lebanon, uh, this is what happened, and 250,000 uh, Lebanese Christians died from famine. So, um, but... Uh, Right now, we need to help uh, support them. Uh, the devaluation of the dollar is a big problem, and uh, it, there's no Lebanese government uh, in sight. Um, they're still fighting internally, Hezbollah controlling uh, the decision. And, um, you know, Hezbollah and others, you know, they get uh, support from uh, Iran and uh, Turkey and uh, Saudi Arabia and other countries. So uh, we're trying to help support uh, our uh, people uh, in Lebanon through uh, many organizations like uh, um, uh, Lebanese Solidarity and um, like Caritas and others to uh, be able to for our people to survive uh, in Lebanon. They need all the help that we can uh, give them. And in terms of of speaking with with allies in the U.S. government right now, uh, Tufik, Mm -hmm. um, what what can be done by the international community to what have you been advocating to happen with the international community in in trying to to help the situation even just a little bit? Yes. Uh, the, there's uh, one solution in uh, Lebanon that we're advocating for, and that is uh, that came from our Cardinal Patriarch uh, Rai, the Maronite Patriarch uh, in Lebanon, and he's calling for neutrality, sovereignty, and stability. Very basic, very basic. It's uh, uh, so. Um, we're asking the international community to support what he's uh, calling for, and he's calling for international uh, summit to resolve the internal problems because the Lebanese cannot solve it uh, by themselves. And uh, we've been asking uh, Congress and the Biden administration. Uh, co- in Congress, we passed the uh, Senate resolution that was passed unanimously 
to support uh, the Lebanese uh, through U.S. aid and uh, um, otherwise. And yesterday, the Biden administration, um, you know, um, uh, spoke about uh, that uh, there has to be a solution, and um, they're putting pressure on the Lebanese government to find a solution and, um, you know, to to be able to uh, pressure the, you know, the formation of a new government. There's no government. There's no ministers. There's, you know. So uh, we're doing our best from our side and asking our people to call members of Congress and the, on the Biden administration to internationalize uh, Lebanon, as the our patriarch is calling for. And you mentioned just a moment ago about various ways that we can help support the people of Lebanon uh, through through Solidarity Lebanon and and Caritas. Solidarity Lebanon is is the fund that that you helped to set up at IDC, correct? Yes, uh, yes, we did, and uh, it is uh, supported with the uh, the order of the Maronite Catholic monks, so uh, and uh, a, a group of individuals. And we are supporting them from uh, outside the United States to help support. There's no overhead or, uh, you know, 100 percent of every dollar goes directly to the people. And right now uh, uh, it's supporting, I believe, 30,000 uh, families and rebuilt a lot of homes and uh, food products and uh, schooling and, uh, you know, uh, the same with uh, Caritas. Caritas is a very reputable organization. So those two organizations we we work with and uh, we're trying to help the people on the ground. We've been talking to Tufik Baklini, the president of In Defense of Christians. Go to indefensivechristians.org to get more information. And Tufik, if listeners want to contribute to Solidarity Lebanon, is there a dedicated website for that? Yes, it's called uh, LebaneseSolidarity.org. We'll put up a link to that at sunrisemorningshow.com as well. Tufik, thank you so much.